Next, I'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that, go inside. So add here, I've taken uh, three integer variable, i, j, and uh, next, sp. So sp value initialized to 5. Now here after control comes to for loop, at here i starting from 1, that check the condition 1 less than equal to 6, the condition is true. So that go to this part, at here j start from 1, check the condition 1 less than equal to sp, the condition is true. So that go inside and print blank. Now here after j gonna increase by 1, so j is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 5, condition is true. So that go inside, print blank. So here after j gonna increase by 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to sp, the condition is true. Again that print blank. Now j gonna increase by 1, so j is 4 now. Check the condition 4 less than equal to sp, the condition is true, print blank. Now j become 5 now. Check the condition 5 less than equal to sp. So sp value is 5, 5 equal to 5, the condition is true, print blank. Now here after j gonna increase by 1, so j is 6 now, check the condition, 6 less than equal to 5, the condition is not true. So here after control comes to this point. Also add here, j start from 1, again, and that check the condition, j less than equal to i so i value j value both are 1 so 1 equal to 1 condition is 2 so that go inside and add here that print the value of i so i value is now 1 that print now here after that leave the space here after that go up and increase the value of j so j is now 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 1 the condition is not true so control comes to this point so add your slash and then cursor bring to the line a uh, new line and add here that decrease the value of sp so sp becomes 6 now so here after that go up and increase the value of i so i become 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 6 the condition is true so that go inside again j value start from 1 so j value is start from 1, check the condition 1 less than equal to sp value is now uh, first time sp value was in a slash to 5 then that decreased so sp become 4 now. So at your check the condition 1 less than equal to 4 the condition is true so that print blank. Now here after yes, j gonna increase by 1, so j is 2 now, check the condition 2 less than equal to 4, condition is true, print blank. Again j become 3 now, check the condition 3 less than equal to 4, condition is true, print blank. Again the value of j gonna increase by 1, so j is now 4, check the condition 4 less than equal to 4, so the condition is true, so print blank. Here after j gonna 5. So that check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 the condition is not true so control comes to this point j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 2 1 less than equal to 2 condition is true so that print i value so i value that print 2 and add here leave some space here after j gonna increase by 1, so j is 2 now, check the condition 2 less than equal to 2, condition is 2, so that print uh, value 2 and leave the space. So j gonna increase by 1, so j is 3 now, check the condition 3 less than equal to 2, the condition is not true, control comes to this point. So add your cursor bring to the new line and sp minus minus, so sp become 3 now. So now again that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 3 now. 
check the condition 3 less than equal to 6 condition is true so right here that go again inside so right here again the value of j start from 1 check the condition 1 less than equal to sv value 3 so 1 less than equal to 3 condition is true print blank now here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 3 condition is true so that go inside print blank so again j gonna increase by 1 so j is 3 now check the condition 3 equal to 3 condition is true so that print blank now j value become 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 3 so the condition is not true so control comes to this point j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 3 1 less than equal to 3 condition is true so that go inside and print the value of i so this print 3 and this leave a space here after now j gonna increase by 1 so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 3 condition is true so print i value so i value is 3 right here now j gonna increase by 1 so j become 3 now check the condition 3 equal to 3 condition is 2 so that go inside print i value now here after j is now 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 3 condition is not true control comes to this point cursor bring to new line and sp minus minus so sp become 2 now so here after i gonna increase by 1 so i become 4 now check the condition 4 less than equal to 6 condition is true so j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to sp value is 2 so 1 less than equal to 2 condition is true so that print blank now here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 2 so sp value is 2 j value 2 so 2 equal to 2 condition is true so that print blank now here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is 3 now check the condition 3 less than equal to 2 condition is not true so that come there at your j start from 1 again and check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 4 so the condition is true so that coincide print the value of i so i value is 4 that print and leave the space and here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 condition is true print blank uh, print i value so here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 4 condition is true so that coincide and print i value so here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 4 condition is true so this print i value and a space also so here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 the condition is not true so control comes to this point cursor bring to the new line and sp minus minus so sp now this time 1 so here after that go up and increase the value of i so i become 5 now that check the condition 5 less than equal to 6 condition is true so that go inside and at your j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to sp sp value is now 1 1 equal to 1 so condition is true so this print blank so here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to sp 2 less than equal to 1 i sp is now 1 so condition false so at here j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to i value i value is 5 1 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that go inside print the value of i and here after a space so j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 condition is true so this print i value again j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that print i value now here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is now uh, 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that print i value so j is now 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that go inside print the value of i now j become 6 now check the condition 6 less than equal to uh, 5 the condition is not true control comes to this point cursor bring to the new line and sp minus minus so sp is now 0 
so here after that go up and increase the value of i so i becomes 6 now check the condition 6 equal to 6 condition is 2 so j start from 1 1 here after check the condition 1 less than equal to sp value is 0 condition is not true so control comes to this point at here j value start from 1 again Check the condition 1 less than equal to 6, condition is 2, so that coins and print the value of i. So j gonna increase by 1, so j is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 6, condition is 2, so that print i value. And j gonna increase by 1, so j is now 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 6, condition is 2, so this print i value and leave the space of blank. So here after j gonna increase by 1, so j is now. Uh, 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 6 condition is true so that print i value so here after j gonna increase by 1 so j is now 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to i value is uh, 6 the condition is true so that print i value so j is now 6 check the condition 6 equal to 6 condition is true so that coincide and print the value of i so here after j becomes 7 now, check the condition 7 less than equal to i value is uh, 6. 7 less than equal to 6 condition is not true. So control comes to this point, cursor being to the new time and sp minus minus. So sp becomes minus 1. So here after i gonna increase by 1, so i becomes 6 to 7. So i becomes 7 now, check the condition 7 less than equal to 6 condition is not true. So that out from or for the and main function so final output we have this all one double two triple three four four times five five times six six times so this is the dry end method of this program so i hope guys you understand so thanks for watching see you next week